Hello boys, it's Mrs Keys here and I'm going to go through the GCSE in construction and the built environment that we offer here in the Brothers and have been doing very successfully for a number of years. It's a very popular course and rightly so because there's something in it for everyone. As you can see in the green visual, this is an overview of the course detailing the four areas of the course. What we do is we deliver two of them in year 11 and the other two then in year 12. Of the four units overall, there are two coursework units and two exam units. So it's a good chance to build up good grades continually through the year and ease the pressure of exam performance. The GCSE is a very good mix of theory, practical woodwork and AutoCAD design work. AutoCAD is a computer aided drawing. You do not need to have any prior experience of that package as you'll be taught everything that you need to know. In the course we do try to incorporate as much real life experience as we possibly can. We try to get a visitor to, to a site and we try to invite in specialists, such as the uh, planning office and building control, to talk to the pupils where it's possible. You can see some of the pictures of GCSE boys. These first two pictures are when we had the local planning office in. And there's a snippet here of an AutoCAD sample assessment that we do. And you can see some of the practical work that the boys be at and with their woodwork in the other two pictures. I want to spend a few minutes giving you an insight into just how the course is assessed. It's a 50% and 50% 50, 50 coursework and 50% exam GCSE. The coursework has the two distinct parts that we've mentioned. One taken in year 11, that's called unit three, and the other is taken in Unit 12, and that was called Unit 4. And you'll remember from the visual at the start, the green table, Unit 3 was the one called the Construction Craft Project, which is the woodwork element. This is where students have to all make the exact same wooden project that SIA actually set. In the past, they have set drawings that we had to make, such as coffee tables, chairs, a clock, a jewellery box, such as the picture shown above. And we will help you through that step by step. And all boys do the same. And you do that in three practical lessons in year 11. And that's worth 25% off your GCSE. It's always a very successful unit for us. The other coursework unit is unit four. And it's called the Computer Aided Design and Construction, which is typically the AutoCAD unit. And it's usually around the 13 drawings it has to be produced using the AutoCAD package. It's very, very simple and it's very enjoyable. Once again, see it, tell us what we have to do and all schools do the same. And we do that in year 12. It takes place on three lessons a week in year 12, three of your five lessons. So you have three lessons in year 11 for uh, practical and uh, three lessons in year 12 for practical. The remaining lessons in your year 11 and year 12 is done uh, used for theory. And that theory is what is questioned in your exam conditions at the end of year 11 and year 12. So we'll have a look at it now in the next slide. The two exams. What is taken in year 11 is called the unit one um, and the other exam is in unit two at the end of year 12. Unit one is your introduction to the built environment. In that unit you will understand generally about the construction and what the built environment actually is and I'll look at how health and safety is so important in it and some employment unit opportunities within it and you'll start to look at the actual technology about how the con construction of buildings come together. You'll do an exam on that in the June usually of your year 11 and that exam is worth 
the good news is that a lot of the lads maybe give that exam a, a attempt that exam anyway although they're not feeling 100 percent confident some of them pass it and pass it well and others then have the opportunity to repeat it again in year 12. so it is attractive that and that it's not and once you do it that you're stuck at that particular grade that you get but it'd be nice to get it and uh, get do well in it and to park that then with your good grade for your coursework in year 11 so you just have only the year 12 units to concentrate on the year 12 theory unit is called sustainable construction which obviously is very important in the current climate where we're trying to be more responsible in the environment it is where we're looking at all of the issues surrounding sustainable development and you'll be learning a lot more about drawings and reading paper drawings and architectural drawings which works well with doing the practical AutoCAD assessment um, in year 12 as well now the sustainability exam is one hour 30 minutes and it's worth 30 percent overall and you do it in your june of your year 12. so the little green visual there shows you your four units um, and how they holistically make up your complete GCSE. And to finish off there, I've just uh, jotted down a few things for you. Why I think it's important to study construction and the built environment. Um, and you don't necessarily, uh, by doing this GCSE, limit yourself to having to go down that route at a further stage in the school or a career in that route. That's good, excuse me, a good opportunity to whet your appetite um, to the topics uh, that we study and also a good opportunity to do a wee bit of practical work if you weren't interested for example in the technology gcse the technology and design so at least by doing the construction you're still getting an opportunity to do a bit of practical work in the workshop if you have any questions or your parents have any questions about this gcse feel free to contact the school and leave a message and i'd be more than happy to talk to you in more detail Thank you. Bye-bye.